everyone! Welcome back to the channel. My name is Ses de Malanta, your Manila Millennial. And yes, I am back with another unboxing video. I am wearing yellow because I will be featuring the newly released Realme C11. This is being sold for only 4,990 pesos. Do you think it's worth it? Keep watching and we'll show you the specs. Here at the back of the box, you'll see that it has 5,000 mAh battery, a 6.5-inch mini drop full screen, 13 megapixels of AI dual camera, and a Helio G35 gaming processor. So this version is a 3GB plus 32GB variant. I've actually unboxed this already and have been using it for a few days. So for you to see what's inside, here's a clip. So let's start with the box. Inside, you can see a message which says, Hey, welcome to the Realme family. You can find the important information guide here with instructions in different languages along with the SIM ejector tool. And then you have here the phone. Let's open it so we can see the color. Here you have the charger. The cable has micro USB. It doesn't come with earphones and a phone protector but that's okay since it's already very affordable and after all, we are after the specs here. The box is very simple, nothing much to see there so take a look at the unit. We have here the mint green variant but the C11 is also available in pepper gray. It has a nice design and the brand name is stylish enough to keep it as is. I sometimes cover such prints with stickers but I really don't mind the Realme logo on this one since it's not distracting. It's 6.5 inch in size, just the right fit in your hands, and the screen is big enough for watching videos or playing games. It doesn't have a fingerprint sensor but it does have a facial recognition and pin code for security. It has a micro USB port for charging and file transfer and an audio jack in case you need to connect your earphones. On the sides, you'll find the volume controls and the power or lock button and on the other side, you'll find the SIM slot. At the back, you'll find the 13 megapixel dual main camera, which also has a nightscape mode in case you need to take photos at night. And in case you are worried about the specs provided by DepEd for online learning, wag kayo magalala dahil the Realme C11 has an octa-core processor with 2 gigabytes of memory and 32 gigabytes of storage. And connecting it via Bluetooth or Wi-Fi is very easy. The Realme C11 also has enough memory to keep all your files for school along with your images and files for your games. Considering that a lot of schools have switched to online learning, it's great that brands like Realme are making their products more affordable for everyone. Even though it's an entry-level smartphone, the specs are already decent enough for everyday use. I tried taking photos using the dual rear camera and it turned out like this. So you can't zoom it too much given the limitations and its specs. When taking selfies, it takes decent photos as long as you are in a well-lit area. We have samples like these. It's quite challenging to take photos at night though, but it has a nightscape mode to kind of help us make the photos look better. If you prefer detailed reviews, we have that for the Realme C11. Just drop by manilamillennial.com for more details. We hope that this quick unboxing video of the affordable Realme C11 helped you to decide whether or not to get this entry-level phone. If you need more details, you can also visit Realme Philippines' Facebook page. I'll put the link in the description box below. And make sure to drop by again next week for more videos. Thank you so much for watching. See you again soon. Bye!